Live Text, which was a new feature added back in iOS 15, has received some pretty useful improvements in iOS 16. And so in this video, we're going to briefly go over what's new with Live Text in iOS 16. If you need a refresher, Live Text is designed to let you highlight and select written or typed text from photos, interacting with it as you would text in any other place inside of the operating system. It's actually pretty crazy that you can kind of write down a phone number in the Notes app or an email, or if that's inside of a photo, you can long press on either one and make a call or compose a new email. One of the major new additions with Live Text is the ability to do that within a video. Rather than just being able to select text inside of photos, you can actually pause any video and interact with the text like you would inside of an image. So this means that text in any pause video frame can be copied, pasted, translated, plus it works with lookup. Live text works across the operating system in photos, camera, Safari, and even other applications. So again, if you want to copy text, just pause the frame of the video that you want, and then touch and hold on a word. You can grab the two little blue markers to narrow or widen your selection, and then you can press and hold to get options like translate and copy. Text that is in a photo or video also supports quick actions, something that Apple added in iOS 15. So now in iOS 16, there are new quick actions that let you track flights, track packages, translate languages, and even convert currencies right from a photo or video. If you have a photo with a sign in a foreign language, for example, you might see the translate quick action available. Live text can also be found inside of the Translate app, as there's a new camera button that opens the device's camera so that you can get live translations in real time for different languages. And speaking of different languages, there's now three new languages, including Japanese, Korean, and Ukrainian. And lastly, in iOS 16, live text will work with spotlight search. So for example, if you are looking for text in a photo or video frame, you can actually just search for that keyword and you'll see it pop up inside of spotlight search, which is actually something that I did last week without even really realizing it. I was looking for a picture of my vaccine card that I took and I just typed in the keywords and it actually showed me the picture because it read the text inside of the picture and then was smart enough to bring it up in spotlight search, which is a fantastic feature that worked perfectly when I needed it to. And of course, I would love to know your thoughts on live text and how you're using it and what you think about these new features from iOS 16 in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.